Hey Twilighters, today is fantastic because it's laundry day! Woo! Oh god, these smell. Today is also fantastic because I just uploaded iMovie 06, which is like a bajillion times better than iMovie 08. And iMovie 08 I was using didn't have double speed or rainbows. I mean, how sucky is that? So as you might have noticed, we're all pretty busy doing our own stuff with school starting and crap like that. So uh, don't be too hard on my Twilighter girls. They're working really hard. The stress has been like... Kind of like that. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't really get to talk to my other Twilight girls about what the topic was going to be this week, but we were kind of throwing this idea around, and I think that's what we're going to go with. So this week's theme is Minor Character Appreciation Week. Uh, we all pick our own favorite minor character from Twilight or any of the Twilight Saga books. And we talk about them, and just different stuff involving our favorite minor character. So for my minor character this week, um, I decided to pick Marcus from the Volturi because I think he's hilarious. Um, he really just doesn't care about anything. And, um, yeah, I just find him a really funny character. So the reason I really dig uh, Marcus Volturi as a minor character is because he's not he didn't really want to be part of the other Volturi, you know? If none of you know about Marcus, he and his former mate Didyme actually wanted to leave the Volturi. They didn't want to be part of the Volturi anymore. But when uh, Aro figured out that Didyme and Marcus were planning on leave leaving, he killed Didyme. And that just left Marcus all alone. So Marcus is really just there because he has to, because he knows he'll be killed if he tries to go anywhere. Which kind of sucks. You know, I feel I kind of feel for Marcus, and um, I just think his constantly bored attitude is so hilarious. Like, it just adds that little bit of like comedic relief, especially during some of the tense scenes of Breaking Dawn there at the end, or even in like New Moon when she's in Volterra and Bella is just like, <sighs> and Marcus just just like, I'm kind of surprised you're so close, but I don't really care. It just makes me think of Didyme. Because I don't think Marcus can really be happy without Didyme. Uh, Didyme's power was to make people happy, and I don't think that's necessarily what hooked Marcus. But without Didyme in general, he can't be happy. It's like his happiness was destroyed. Because it was his mate, it was the person he was planning on spending the rest of his life with. And so I just think that kind of sucks for Marcus. He's just so like... You guys suck because you killed my wife. So I'm not really gonna do anything. Another reason I like Marcus is because I like some of the other Twilight characters. I had a really clear picture of who he should be played by um, without thinking of people who'd already been cast, you know? Like for Bella, I had like kind of a vague image, but I always, now I always see her as Kristen Stewart just because she's been cast that way. Marcus, however, hasn't been cast, and I think that he should be played by Alan Rickman, the guy who played Snape in Harry Potter, because he just has that perfected face. Like, he just doesn't care at all. He's just like, I don't care. I am Snape. But he has that right, like, angry emotion that he's kind of gets towards Harry Potter, which... I think Marcus kind of gets towards Aro sometimes, because like, you kill my wife. Another one of my favorite minor characters has got to be Garrett from Breaking Dawn. Um, I just find his character really interesting, and I really want to get to know more about him. Garrett's just like the Heath Ledger of vampires, so what's not to love? Another one of my favorite minor characters is Benjamin. I really like that he's able to control the elements because I think it makes me really curious about what he was like as a human that would make him able to control the elements. And you know, I just think he's really cool because he's all like, I'm Benjamin of the Egyptian clan. Earth, fire, wind, water, hurt, 
Go planet! You know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, I looked it up on yellowpages.com for a J. Hale right here in Norman, Oklahoma, and I'm about to give him a call. Ashley, this is probably one of the most embarrassing things I'll ever do in my entire life. Hello, is this Jay Hale? This is. Um, hi, my name is Jay Jenks, and I have your documents for you. What documents? Um, well, I'm not allowed to say it this time, but I would like to well, meet you to give you documents. we're not expecting any documents, so I don't doubt that you have any documents for us. Thank you very much. Why did she have to? She should have gone along with it. That would have been so much funner. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys realize this. I thought when I closed my phone that it hung up the phone. But, like, the entire time that I was laughing and talking about the challenge, she was still on the line. So I have a feeling she's going to be calling me back. Or she's just going to think I'm crazy. But that was really fun. <laughs> Ooh. I'm cool. <laughs> All of this at Team Twilight, I also wanted to say happy birthday, Bella. Um, you turn, well, you would turn another year older this week, but I don't think you really do because you're a vampire. And that's the only thing we wanted to celebrate. It's the only thing really happening this week that we care about, besides Minor Character Appreciation Day and Bella's birthday. Yeah, pretty much. Just kidding! Happy birthday, Katie! Woo! It's the big 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's the big 2-1. Yeah! So I hope your birthday is fantastic because we're all so excited that you're turning 21 this week. Yay! And I almost forgot. My challenge for this week is... In honor of it being Katie's birthday this week, whoever gets my challenge has to tell me what their number one top absolute favorite mo Katie moment is. Um, it can be from Team Twilighter, um, personal moment, or from her personal channel, Bella Rocks Music, or otherwise. It could even be from Chasing Quaffles. So, just let me know what your favorite Katie moment is. Okay, so today I'm wearing cargo pants. I have two pockets here, two pockets down here, a mini pocket over here, and of course, two back pockets. So, Amanda's going to hit one of my pockets, and whichever one that is, that's who gets the challenge. All right, here we go. Pick Amanda. Oh, <laughs> let's see. That one is Sarah. Have fun with the challenge. Also, for this week's video suggestion, um, you should go check out some of my uh, favorite Twilight VMA reaction clips. I'll post links in the sidebar. And you can also go to MTV's blog site, which I'll also post a link to in the sidebar, and check out some of the videos from people like me and No Marbles and their reactions to the Twilight VMA. If you post your videos up on the blog site as well, you might even get a chance to be on MTV's um, official blog because they want to hear from Twilight fans like us. Also, um, if you want to go check out Sarah's 50 Things video, which she did not officially post on Team Twilighter, I will also post a link to that in the sidebar. Just so you know, Katie, even though I haven't known you that long, my absolute favorite Katie moment was when you sang that song for me on my introduction to Team Twilighter video, and I just wanted to let you know that you are awesome. These towels are so warm, OMI!